One, two, three. Hello everybody. <laughs> this is Eva. Uh, yeah, welcome to my channel. Yeah, I know that it's a little bit cheesy. Welcome to my channel, but I really welcome you to come to my channel. And today I just wanted to share um, the good thing about living in Spain. Oh, Palma de Mallorca. <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about Palma de Mallorca because I'm a Korean expat living in Palma de Mallorca, Spain, and I really enjoy living in here. Uh, so today the weather is pretty good. So I just wanted to share uh, a few things that it's really good to live in Palma de Mallorca. First of all, as you see, um, the weather is fantastic. Uh, of course, there are some rainy days or windy days and there are storms as well, but in general, the weather in Mallorca is pretty good and I'm really happy about it. Okay, there are four seasons in Palma de Mallorca, but you don't feel like there are four seasons. Like, you feel like spring, summer, autumn, and and spring again so <laughs> yeah of course in winter time it's a little bit cold yeah and also it's, it's near the sea so when there's a lot of humidity it's quite cold but you know compared to other European countries like this like Germany <laughs> it's pretty good it's like maybe 5 to 15 degrees sometimes it's like 20 for example today it's March already and today I think in the sun is like more than 20 degrees I think in the sun <laughs> in the shade is a little bit cold anyways so the weather is pretty good I know that you're gonna say oh yeah everybody knows Palma de Mallorca has such a good weather yeah what else do you want to say about it yeah I know so let's move on to the next point <laughs> Of course, next point is also something you know about it. Yeah, but keep watching, okay? <laughs> so the weather is good and the second, there are a lot of beautiful beaches. You can see here, um, Calo des Moro. It's really beautiful and yeah, a lot of beautiful beaches that you can visit here. But I'm really happy that I have an option. If I feel like it, we can drive to the beach like yeah, it's very beautiful and the color is amazing. Turquoise is so beautiful. It's, it's like 50 shades of, of blue or 50 shades of turquoise. <laughs> it's very beautiful. And the third is there is almost no racism. I don't know other, about other parts of Spain because I, I've heard some bad experiences, but for me, in Mallorca, it's, it's really good. It's, there's almost no racism. I think sometimes the kids... I remember when I went to the shopping mall one day, um, Mallorca outlet, and we we're about to go inside the area from the parking lot, and we we're walking there, and, <laughs> and one kid in the bicycle uh, from the far pointed at me and say China China it's like you know Chinese woman is China so maybe surprised to see Asian woman but you know I'm not Chinese and I don't want to hear like China but I'm used to it maybe in general when Westerners see uh, Asian person is like oh Chinese no 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 there are a lot of countries in Asia and yeah better not to call us uh, Chinese just call us Asian yeah that's much better <laughs> anyways that's another story so almost no racism is except for this kind of incident sometimes people say ni hao but I never feel like I've treated differently in here in general Mallorcan people are very kind especially when you say the local word because in Mallorca they speak dialect of Catalan it's called Mallorquin. If you say, Bon dia. Bon dia is buenos dias. They're very happy. Oh, these foreigners speak Mallorquin and they're really happy about it. But still, when I walk on the street, they look at me, yeah, for sure, but they don't look at me like, like that, like, you know, bad intent, with a bad intention, I guess, I hope. <laughs> like, they're curious about you, so, like, okay. It's a little bit weird, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> So if you're an Asian person and 
you're coming here to to Mallorca to travel um, don't take it so bad <laughs> that people look at you because you are different but so far people are so nice to me here in Mallorca so whether you're from Asia or other countries they welcome you and no racism here in Mallorca uh, from my experience if you have experienced any racism here in Palma de Mallorca let me know in the comment okay next if you live here uh, you can enjoy the city life and the countryside life so I really feel like it's not like a big city like Seoul or other like New York I've never been to New York but <laughs> um, yeah many big cities there are too much traffic a lot of people but here I live in Palma de Mallorca the center but I can always uh, get away from the center, the noise, all from all the noise and and the people and the traffic. And actually, there are not many traffic either. But anyways, I enjoy the in the countryside. <laughs> it's really good, and I really like it. And yeah, I recharge my battery for uh, the week. The fifth, <laughs> you can speak English. Everybody here, everybody know, but most of the people, especially. People who work for the hospitality industries like hotels, restaurants, bars, uh, cafe, they speak like few languages. Really surprising because in my country, if you speak really good English, it's like wow, that's amazing. But here, people in the bar, the bartender and the waiter, waitresses, they speak uh, English, uh, Spanish, and maybe Mallorquin if they are Mallorquin people or German and yeah French uh, Italians they're amazing so if you're coming from different countries from Europe or United States of America or yeah or Asia like my country South Korean people hello <laughs> then um, yeah people speak in English and you have no problem at all, at all to communicate with people in this area so the good thing about living in Mallorca six the food <laughs> Mallorcan traditional food is really really delicious there are so many things that I like about Mallorcan food um, let's talk about a pastry first my favorite pastry is ensaimada and coca de patata ensaimada look like um, the shell of snails but it's, it's when you have a bite it's so, so sweet and really delicious yeah and the secret of this delicious ensaimada is lard the pork fat that's why it's very delicious you know something fatty <laughs> with a lot of fat is super delicious and sugar you know and it's super delicious yeah and one of the famous place to eat ensaimada is um, Canchuan de Saigo. There are like few shops, few bakeries, really, really famous. But and I like to go to Canchuan de Saigo. But you know, it's super, it's super addictive. And you know, one one is like this size, the small one. I mean, that you can buy big ones as well. But small one, you just finish like in one minute or less. It's really delicious with a cup of coffee. But it's typical here to. Um, eat and saimada with um, ice cream I like to eat with uh, ice cream and as well I like to eat with hot chocolate in the winter time but you know this hot chocolate is a little bit too thick so maybe you guys don't like it but yeah sometimes you don't have to take it every day but and saimada you can eat it every every day in any occasion uh, and any season so it's really good um, and coca de patata is very popular in, in Bademosa Bademosa is very popular for the tourists because um, Chopin you know the famous composer of Chopin and the French artist George, George Sand they they live in Bademosa like three months or so but you must visit actually it's really really beautiful village and yeah when you go there eat coca de patata mm, i thought coca is like kind of pastry like bread it's like dough uh and patata so potato so oh it's a potato bread no it's like yeah they put potato powder but i thought there i taste a lot of potatoes but no 
it's like sweet pastry but it's not that sweet so at first when i have a bite it's like a little bit disappointed like oh this is coca de patata that is really popular really famous mm, i'm not sure that i like it but you know it's like second bite the third bite it's normal but something about it i don't know it's i got addicted to it so every time i go to valdemosa to visit i go and buy coca de patata it's really good so so you must try it and the traditional mallorcan food there are a lot of famous traditional mallorcan dish but uh, what i like is sopas mallorquines y coca de trompo sopas mallorquines is a soup like a um, soup boiled with um, meat and and vegetables but <laughs> What's so special about this meat soup? But I don't know, I just like it. It's the savory and it's not spicy, but it's, it has deep flavor. It's really, really good. It's similar to um, Korean soup, so I really like it. And Coca de Trompo is literally like pizza, but without cheese. It's really delicious. I love it. Um, also, Coca de um, Trompo is with usually typically with uh, green pepper and green pepper and red pepper yeah some peppers and onions it's really good but there are different types of uh, cocas and there are some sweets like different toppings it's like pizza but without the cheese but different toppings it's really good you must try coca de trompo as well and also, like, I, I, I'm not really big fan of this but um The last good thing about, of course, there are a lot of good things about living in Mallorca, but the last thing I want to talk about it in here uh, is that Mallorca is a pretty safe place to live. Mm, yeah, I didn't have any problem that people want to rob me or something, I don't know. <laughs> but of course, like any other country, there are some problems. Anyways, if you travel around, travel outside of your country, you always have to be careful, that's for sure, about your belongings and everything and yeah that's about it there are a lot of good things about my living in mallorca but yeah i just wanted to talk seven good things today and lucky seven <laughs> um if you have any questions about traveling in mallorca or if you want me to make videos about let's say calo desmoro or like the beautiful beaches beaches or trying different mallorcan food whatever so if you are curious or any requests for the next videos, just let me know in the comment section <laughs> so that I can make video. I try to make videos for you guys and thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos, okay? And be safe and take good care of yourself. See you soon. Hasta luego. Bye.